All right guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to convert text to speech using Python. So we are going to use uh, two separate modules. So first module will be uh, GTTS. So this is a Google module. It will convert the text to speech. So this is like an API. And another one is PyTTSX. And this is an offline module. So you can able to convert some uh, English text to speech and you can also do some voice modulation using that. So first we will be using GTTS. So for that uh, we will install that. First install the module. So if you want to install in Jupyter Notebook, use the exclamation symbol and uh, pip install GTTS. So this will be a uh, capital run this. So it will take some time for this uh, installation to be done. So in the meantime, we will uh, do the whole code. So I'm just going to type the whole code in a single block because uh, it just contains a few lines of code. So we will wait until the installation completes. So the installation is successfully completed. So ignore the warnings. Now we will import from GTTS import GTTS and we also import OS to access the file that is the speech file. Now after uh, importing the module we have to create the text. So text equals so I will say Welcome to Hackers Realm. So this is the text I am going to pass and uh, we will just convert this text into speech. Now we have to specify a few things. First we have to initialize this module GTTS. So I will say text to speech so this is the variable I'm going to provide now GTTS of we have to pass the text that is text equals text so this is one parameter another one is language so language equals English if you want to use another language means you have to specify the code for that particular language so you can able to find this code in the module documentation or using Google also. Every language has some kind of code. Now after that, and we can also specify other attributes like uh, whether the audio should be slow or fast. So first we will just uh, go with the default parameters and after that we will change few parameters and see how it works. Now we have initialized the object and we have passed the text. Now we will save the file as mp3. So text to speech dot save. I will say test dot mp3. You have to provide some extension. After saving the file, we will play the converted audio. So play the audio. So for that, we will say OS dot system. You have to specify the same name that is test dot mp3. So this is save the audio file. So this is the conversion part. Convert text to speech. Now let's run this. Hope this will work. So it's asking for me to open some file. Uh, maybe I will just use VLC player itself. Okay. Welcome to Hackers Realm. So I think you can able to hear that audio. It actually converted uh, this whole text into like a small into a speech. You can also pass a very long text also. Welcome to Ankastram. 
it contains tutorial videos videos on technology so we'll just adding more uh, text let's see how it works and we also can pass a parameters so if you remember the audio so we will pass another parameter called slow equals so initially it is uh, true because as you can able to hear the audio it is in a slow manner so that will be very much useful for some audio books so now let's set it as false and run this welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial video i think it just stopped after that it didn't contain the whole uh, word let's say true welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology now you can able to see it completed the whole uh, sentence but it is like so much slower if you say false so it will be in a normal style welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology so it completed the whole sentence and uh, it is in a correct manner and using this you can able to convert any kind of uh, text into a speech maybe you can able to create a whole audio book using this so it's using a uh, google speech api so the accuracy will be much better because we are not creating from scratch we are just using the existing corpus and trying to convert the text to speech so this is using gtts so we will just mention it at the start google speech api so i'll just change it to google text to speech so that is much similar now that is done and after that we will use for uh, py ttsx so this is also a offline module and it also works very well so now let's have that py ttsx so this is a offline now let's install that again pip install py ttsx so it will take some time install the module this is the input now it's successfully installed the module now we will minimize it we will use the same uh, text here also so i'll just copy the input and paste it here we already imported os so we don't need to import it again now after the text we have to initialize it similar to the here but the format will be different so initialize the module now that will be again i will use the same variable text to speech equals py ttsx dot init okay i think uh, this is 3 and this is also 3 that is the latest version i installed a wrong one and here we will in import that that is import so that is installed now import py ttsx3 and we have just initialized the module now convert text to speech now text to speech dot say i will just pass the text and after that text to speech dot run and wait let's run this welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology so this is a different voice 
and the speed is also different because it's like much faster than the previous one we can adjust all the things here using this uh, pi ttsx uh, module here also you can able to save it as an audio file so if you want to save the file so this is uh, listen to audio if you want to save the file save the audio file that will be text to speech instead of save we have to use uh, save to file save to file the text and uh, saving file will be test.mp3 so this is how we can able to save the file now after the initialization we will change few things first i will just change the voice change the voice like we have male and female first we have to retrieve the voices uh, from the library let's retrieve it let's call it as voices equals text to speech dot get property and uh, that will be voices so this will retrieve all the voices now text to speech dot set property we are going to change the voice so voice comma voices of 1 so that is female 0 is male i will get the id now let's run this welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology so here you can able to hear a female voice i will mention it a uh, zero for male and one for female okay this is changing the voice after changing the voice we will adjust the speed now to change the speed we will use the same uh, command like here so text to speech dot set property here we are going to change the rate so rate comma 100 let's run this welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology so it is like so much slower than the previous one let's change it to 300 welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology it is too much fast maybe for the optimal one i will change it to 150 welcome to hackers realm it contains tutorial videos on technology so you can able to clearly hear uh, the voices in a correct rate and uh, we have changed the voice to female and we also saved it to the file called test.mp3 like that you can able to do it and this module supports uh, offline so even if you are not accessible to internet means this is the best module you can able to use apart from that you can able to change various things like the volume and uh, other properties you have to see the documentation and make the corresponding changes in the settings and after that just run these commands so that's it for uh, text to speech so these are the two best modules for converting text to speech and apart from that there are other modules uh, out there uh, you can able to use that also if you want to make a video on some other module means uh, mention it in the comments apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful stay tuned for the next video